Welcome to another episode of Osman By My Side. I'm going to be preparing a pheasant feast for tomorrow night with my, my friends. And uh, 24 hours ahead of time, I need to do a little pre-prep on the meat. You can see I've got a uh, pheasant here just breasted out that I shot last year. I better get Oswin in here. Oswin, come here. Come here, buddy. And there's Oswin. There you are, buddy. Oh, I dropped it. Oh. There, now Oswin has been in the photo. First, all I'm doing is I'm breasting them out. So I'm just cutting some slits. And I'm gonna breast this pheasant out. But uh, we're just breasting it out and we're gonna make pheasant strips and uh, pheasant chunks of meat for tomorrow's night's dinner. One of the best ways to make sure you don't get BBs in the food, and it's not always guaranteed since this is wild bird, is uh, I breast everything out. And that way you can kind of see if you have any BBs in the breasts as you're cutting along and you can kind of cut those sections out. Like right there, no, oh, look at here. See, so the reason you do this is you can see these feathers and here is our first BB. So that way I know that I'm getting every BB out of the pheasant. I don't want anybody to bite it into a BB. It's gonna happen, people. If you're a pheasant hunter and you're a bird hunter, duck hunter, grouse hunter, eventually somebody's gonna bite into a BB. So the next thing you do is you have a bowl, either a, a uh, old uh, ice cream container, or in this case, I have a uh, Rubbermaid that I like to use. These things are washable. And all I'm gonna do is make pheasant strips, so I, or, or pheasant chicken strips, but I'm just cutting them into what would be easily friable sizes. You clean it up some more. You want chunks of meat that are easily friable. In fact, like so, you can do them this size, like that, or you can even have them a little bit bigger like this, but you don't want them too thick because you're gonna be frying them all at the same time. So all I'm looking for is how thick is that meat? If you see tendons, just cut them off, get rid of it. Look at that little guy. We can fry that up. I'm just gonna drain any more juices out of here that come out. Next step is we're gonna tender quick or a home meat cure. And for, so I'm gonna soak this tender quick in there, mix it all up, and for 24 hours it's gonna sit. Now I mix, mix, mix. I wanna get that all mixed in. I don't want it all in just one or two pieces. I can feel those grains in there. So that way every piece has got some on there. Welcome back to Cooking with Osmond. 24 hours ago, you saw me prepare this pheasant and get it in there with that tender quick. And now I'm gonna rinse it off, get it super, super uh, cleaned off, get all that salt off it. We're gonna prepare it, we're gonna fry it. And then we are going to make the Lester pheasant. My boss's pheasant, he said it's amazing. I have all my friends and guests are outside. Um, appetizer's soon gonna be done. And uh, we need to get this right in the oven right after that so that this cooks for 45 minutes. And uh, we're gonna have an amazing meal. You're watching Awesome By My Side. Here's the rinsey. That's good. All right, so I rinsed that for a good two to three minutes. You can see this pheasant now. Put this bowl over it. It's not quite as red. We got all that salt and quick, tender quick out of it. Uh, I'm gonna let this sit. Next step, cutting board. Cutting knife. That's not the cutting knife. Cutting knife. We're going onion, 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 onion. We've got to prepare the pan. Pan. That Amish butter. We're wiping it in the pan. Get everything wiped down with that butter. Get a nice, slick, smooth, slick on there. We're going to leave those chunks of butter in the pan gonna hurt it now we're taking onions we're gonna layer the bottom of the pan the beautiful yellow onion it's gonna be amazing in our belly 
All I'm doing is slicing these thinly, about a quarter inch thick. Now we didn't talk about this. This is just, I think it's funny because uh, guys that cook, they just assume you know like thickness and all this. But I'm literally, I'm just slicing them about that thick. Um, maybe, maybe a quarter inch and I'm layering the bottom of my pan. <laughs> all right, so I, you can see I've got the pan and it's just layered with onion. I just wanted a flat layer with onion on the pan. At this point, my grease, uh, I've got uh, canola oil in my, in my fryer and, um, and I'm going to fry my pheasant. I always use shake and bake or really frying magic is my go-to for pheasant, but my Bob, this is my production foreman's recipe. He uses Bisquick, and he didn't he didn't say any kind of salts or peppers. He said use Bisquick. So we're using Bisquick to fry up this pheasant, which I've never tried. So who knows? It might be awesome. Take your bag of Bisquick. You probably don't need the full thing, but. I've got a lot of pheasant, a lot of people outside, so we're making a lot. Dump it in some kind of a Ziploc. Remember, we, we've already cleaned the pheasant, so a lot of that moisture is gone now. And we're making pheasant strips. I got I got to add salt and pepper. I can't do it. <laughs> I'm, I'm deviating. I'm deviating from his recipe just because. Uh, whoa. Not that much pepper. That's what you get, Elver, when you try to do it yourself. Now you gotta dump all that out. There, that should be perfect. That was that was the cooking the cooking saint. A little bit of salt. Dump all that pheasant in there. You don't need a lot of salt because that tender quick that we put on last night has got the salt in it too. So I did very little salt, but I have to add some kind of seasoning. I can't just do straight biscuit. You can make fun of me all you want, but it's just it's the way it is. I might have to get a bigger Ziploc. I have the big two pounder. That bag was not big enough. It's a proper shaking bag. And we're shaking all that meat up. We're gonna shake it up, shake it up, shake it up, shake it up, shake it up. The bag comes open, it might make a mess. All right, throw that shake and bake. So I've got this pheasant here. That's a ton of pheasant. And I'm just trying to fry it up in this canola oil. So our second batch of pheasant is done. And um, I'm just throwing it in on top of that onion. Next ingredient, we're gonna add more butter. We have a big block of, of Amish, Irish, uh, Amish butter. Throw different chunks all over the place. Butter is only going to be mixed up better. We're, we're going Julia Childs on this. Chicken or onion. Finally, our stove top. I don't, I don't think I have enough stove top. <laughs> I got two boxes. Well. We've got the stove top we've got. I'm not gonna run to the store. Everything's done, I've got guests outside. We've got my foo food drink. This is the pheasant recipe. Let's see if I can not screw it up since I've screwed up all of my other recipes. I'm just gonna add a bunch of butter. I know that if I add a bunch of butter, I mean, it's gonna taste good. We're, we're, this is called French pheasant stove top. That's what, that might be the end of it. The name of the recipe. Onion, pheasant, stovetop, butter. Aye, We're gonna let that cook for 45 minutes, 350 degrees. All right, it's been 45 minutes. Um, I have not really cleaned up my kitchen. Most of the time I get all my, everything cleaned up between tanks, but I've got guests outside, they're down by the dock. I told them uh, my timer was set. I came up. I'm like, in about five minutes, this food's gonna be done. I'm not. I'm gonna do the taste test, just because uh, 
Let's face it, everybody's having fun. Just because I'm making a video does not mean I need to pull their attention away from having fun. Let's see what this uh, Lester Pheasant Extravaganza. Can I say that again? Lester Pheasant Extravaganza looks like and tastes like. I didn't do something right. Where's my work phone? We're gonna get to the bottom of this. Hey, all the time. What did I do wrong? The stove top is still dry. We're supposed to cook it. <laughs> <laughs> you put it on dry? Yeah. No, 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 no. You're supposed to make it and then put it on there. Oh, well, that would have made way more sense. Yeah, shoot. Okay. And onion. <laughs> okay. All right. Well, you're currently being your voice is being recorded on my video, and this will this will still go out. So, all right. Well, thank you, Lester. I'll I'll try that in a week. <laughs> all right, bye. All right. This did not turn out the way it was supposed to. Just got off the phone with my, my boss, Lester, who gave me this recipe and said it would be good. They pre-cook the stovetop. If you're trying this, and I have not added, remade this before I edit this video, which I probably will remake this before I edit this video with my parents. Um, and then I'll show you the this product versus that product. We're still going to eat it because I bet you this pheasant is still good. If this doesn't have the stovetop. Oh yeah. Yeah, the, the pheasant is still very done. Ha, ha, ha. The onions are done. Just the stove top's not good. So, here's my bite. You can see a little bit of pheasant, a little bit of onion. Just need stove top that's pre-cooked in on that. It's still good though. You still get that seasoning in the stove top. It might not be cooked right. It's still good. I'll let you, I'll, you'll see a second bite when I uh, cook it the second time on my next days off when these videos are going to be released. Let's do a close up of this. All right, so the stove top is ready. At this point, I'm just going to throw it on top. <laughs> the other batch of stove top. A little bit more butter on that side. That's the step we missed on Saturday. Stove is at 350 degrees. Four to five minutes. We'll see what it looks like. All right, I just took the uh, pheasant out of the oven. We'll see how it looks. Hopefully a lot better than it did on Saturday. Oh, look at that. Look at that. We've got the pheasant, we've got the stuffing. We've got the onions. This is good. Now we're first gonna eat a little bit of this stuffing because that's what did not turn out on Saturdays. Stuffing. The thing about Saturdays though was all that seasoning that was supposed to be in the stove top went into the pheasant and it made the pheasant unbelievably tasty. So how'd this one turn out? It's really hot. It's still very, very good. I haven't got the flavor yet of the herbs and spices, but the pheasant is amazing. It's nice and moist. 
moist. Um, stuffing is good. These onions, let me get an onion bite. Perfectly cooked. Well, Lester, I like your recipe. Thank you. Enjoy. I'm going to enjoy this meal with my parents. They're in the next room on their way to Wyoming. And uh, love life, love God. Till next episode.